Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have a updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, share, like, and subscribe. We are using our other mostly known source, 270towin.com, to fill in this map. So if you want to call us biased, we are not. We are using 270towin.com in this video. You want to see the results, you go to 270win.com and you will see that we are not biased. We are just going based off of their statistics. So let's fill in that map based on 270win.com. So Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho, not Utah, with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, according to 270towin.com, Nevada is two clicks light red for Donald J. Trump, giving him the six electoral votes. Arizona, according to 270win.com, is grayed out. It's a toss-up. Either candidate could win this state. Thank you, Maricopa County, for 2020. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm being sarcastic. So Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with 5 electoral votes, is 2 clicks light blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, with 4 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. The 1st District of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The 2nd District of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris, making Nebraska at large with 2 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with 7 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is 2 clicks light red for Donald J. Trump. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is blue, 2 clicks. For Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. One more click. Wisconsin and Michigan with 10 electoral votes. And Michigan with 15 electoral votes. According to 270towin.com are both grayed out because either candidate could win these much needed battleground slash toss up states. So they will not be colored in on this map according to 270towin.com. Iowa with 6 electoral votes is 2 clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with 8 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes. According to 270win.com, Ohio is 2 clicks pink red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance Hillbilly Eulogy. West Virginia with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with 8 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, you're the only 10 I see with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-V-I with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with 9 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, according to 271.com, with its 30 electoral votes, Florida is two clicks light red pink for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Georgia, according to 271.com, with its 16 electoral votes, is gray. It's a toss up. Either candidate could win. It will not be colored in. South Carolina, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, with 16 electoral votes, according to 270win.com, North Carolina is grayed out. It is a toss up. Either candidate could win this state. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is. Two clicks, light blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Pennsylvania, according to 270win.com, Pennsylvania and its 19 electoral votes are grayed out. It's a toss-up. They have been in a deadlock tie with Kamala Harris at one point taking the lead and Donald J. Trump at one point taking the lead. According to 270win.com, they are back to being gray in a toss-up. Pennsylvania would not be colored in on this map. New York with 28 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. And according to 270win.com, Maine itself is blue, and the Maine at large, too, at the very top, is blue, and the first district of Maine is red. So most of Maine is blue for Kamala Harris, and only one part of Maine is, is red for Donald J. Trump. Therefore, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Massachusetts are all blue for Kamala Harris.
That gives Kamala Harris 226 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 225 electoral votes, making Kamala Harris have the slight edge in this election and possibly winning the presidential election of the United States of America in the year 2024. Who do you guys want to win and why? Let us know in the comments below. As always, I'm the illustrious and everlasting perfect Bags. And I'm President Ross. And we are out. Lied about our names.